Hi, this is Shadi. Today's video is the personification of the expression there are no black belt techniques, only techniques done at a black belt level. And it's one of my favorite expressions regarding martial arts techniques. So today what we will see is 19-year-old Henry Gracie fighting five army men all on the ground. However, just using the bare basics and minimum, he performs wonders. Now, when I say the basics, I'm not taking away from this because to do the basics at a very good level and to actually understand them, that requires years of skill and you know understanding and maturity. And at 19, it's great that he already has that. So it starts from the ground. You can see Hanner is in a supine position. And as they get closer is when he closes his legs. And from here, he's trying to catch the arm, either going for a triangle choke or a juji gatame or an arm lock. Very basic. It works on all levels. And it just pins uh, the whole upper body if done correctly. So if you see it here, this is the basic form. So you have one leg biting on the head while the other, you use the shin to block on the ribs to prevent them from turning to you. This is the basic form. Now there's many others, but this is how you usually uh, do it. Um, now, granted, that there is, uh, when you're fighting, it's going to be taken from a particular position. So either you're on top or you're at the bottom. And it's the first technique that you will learn and the technique that you will probably take to your grave with you. It's, it's just an absolute gem of a technique. So here you see um, you close us up like a triangle choke, just like Henner Gracie did. So you trap the shoulder, you trap the head, and then from there, you can switch up the leg and then the arm is fully isolated and with a little extension of the hips they will fall on their back and from there you should get the finish very much like what Henner did so again the basics will go a very very long way here uh, instead of trapping shoulders you immediately spin around and then kick away the head with the leg now here he's just doing some spinning stuff but here he's sitting he's what we call an open guard um, in Japanese it's a has a different name and I'll get to it so before they get close and you close off the the torso um, this technique or this position is called seitai in Japanese meaning supine position and if you go to any Kosen Judo training, if you're lucky enough, they will talk about it constantly or their drills is from this position. And here you see a three man Uchikomi from this position. It's not just the shoulder throw or the inner thigh throw, but they also do this um, in Kosen Judo. Their, their way of training, in my opinion, is my favorite at least. So, but th that's a different topic. But um, so Hanner is using a very basic Seitai position. Uh, it can be many things with the, with the gi collar and sleeve, etc. but it's mostly this. So here, as he gets close, he isolates the arm and then finishes off with a triangle choke, pulls on the head, very basic. And here you see from the uh, pull, a hikikomi, uh, gets into seitai position. I believe this is Shibayama. And he isolates the arm, pushes on the other arm with the leg, and gets the triangle choke. Very functional. It's a lot of people's favorite submission, and for a very good reason. And here you see, uh, sticking to those old school fundamentals and really honing them, I'm not saying you only should work on this, but whatever type of style you like to do or guard, etc., always make sure there is a very good found 
very good amount of foundation in it no matter how fancy and spinning it is make sure it has some foundation because you want to get your foundations properly as you progress because that will make you a good grappler and the less energy you will use so here uh, as again they get close he just closes on the torso and uh, notice here how he prevents him from getting up by grabbing his own uh, ankle and pulling it towards him as the head is bitten by the calf muscle um, so it's a position that's good when they're striking because if they cannot get up they cannot strike you so this is basically Eddie Bravo's basic idea for the rubber guard and now here you see uh, using the leg to keep that posture down as you cross choke so you block the back of the neck with the calf muscle as you pull it with your hand you see the arrow here and then you strangle by uh, pulling uh, the collar across it's called ashijime or hidari ashijime hidari means left ashijime it means leg strangle now if you're using the right leg it's called migi ashijime and the other leg is used to block the hip much like a rubber guard so here you see it's a great way to prevent someone from posturing up and uh, striking especially if there's no jacket so um, here he continues he does a very basic hip bump and uh, gets into mount position turns away into again a very classical arm lock so here you see um, what he does is uh, from hikikomi gaishi or scissors uh, sorry butterfly sweep um, here you see it so he does a hikikomi or a guard pull and then uh, turns over with hikikomi gaishi what we call in uh, jujitsu today butterfly sweep um, again it's those bread and butter of all the good grapplers on the ground and uh, here you see it performed by some of the older generation so there's a bunch of ways you can get it a bunch of grips i know it's very popular in nogi but here you can see it in kosen judo being uh, really uh, hammered in and invested in because they have the luxury to take the fight to the ground in this way here henner says he puts his hand on the throat and got the tap but now here the last one does the same thing with the turnover he hooks the leg and notice how he keeps them close to the buttocks and the hips because um, they can be used to turn over turn him over so if they are closer it's much easier for him to stay uh, on top and he's using his head as a way to uh, as another element to support his position rather than be you know off balance so he's creating a far wider base with his head and uh, here what he's doing is clearly isolating one arm slowly but surely and he will get the submission but here that alone is incredible control uh, just the bare minimum and very little energy is used gets it and um, it's all in the foundation and this is why i love at least their curriculum because it focuses on these while at the same time really uh, appreciating self-defense uh, even when you're on on your back they take into consideration the striking etc and i really appreciate this while sticking to these very old fundamental teachings of newaza that was developed years ago by kanemitsu oda and uh samura and all these others so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening